Alright guys, so I wanted to go over um, essentially what I'm using for the spirit concentrator that is uh, benefiting me the most at the moment. There are many different combinations. I'm not going to say one combination is superior to, the, to another. Um, it all depends on what you're going for. I primarily wanted the ability to etch and re-roll my weapons. So Craftsman's Inheritor is extremely important for doing that. I did run into a problem. You need to be able to etch your weapon if it doesn't come with a Gemini inscription already. And a lot of the times I would find the weapons that I wanted and they wouldn't have a Gemini. So I pack Legendary Craftsman, the Red Sword, and this allows me to etch a weapon and then I can with the inheritor I can reforge and etch it and and re-roll that etching as many times as I need to there is a penalty you can only hold 20 curse or 20 non cursed scrolls and um, so that is a, a little downside but it's really worth it if you're just trying to get the spore build up and running and going as fast as possible Stronger arrow for weapon damage. Ammo pack, just because you're going to eat through your ammo like crazy usually. Um, if you're certain characters, they don't use ammo as much, but it's still a great item to have. I use Arsenal Raider um, because I'm looking for the proper weapons to make my build work. Um, I like having extra weapons drop. And Deft Move is really hard to pass up because you get just a 15% chance to become immune to all damage. That's pretty hard to beat. The sword, though, that I uh, recently have put on that I find absolutely amazing is Reincarnated. And that's plus two revive chance. And so you get your regular revive plus two more so you can get uh, three additional revives uh, when normally you only get one. And that's amazing. Um, it, a little bit of forgiveness or for players who, you know, you, let's say uh, you didn't realize you got snuck up on and a guy shoots you in the back and downs you and your teammates were too far away. Or maybe you're solo and doing it by yourself. Um, having this sword allowing you to revive more times than you should is uh, essential for me. So that's the primary things and why I'm taking them. The inheritor to re-roll your weapons. The legendary craftsman to be able to etch and get the spore onto the rainbow pistol or the new corrosive glove. And then reincarnated for those moments when I failed to dodge a sniper shot or something like that. Or explodey guys, you know, corral up on you and just blow you to pieces. It's very nice to be able to revive yourself multiple times.
Alright guys, so we finally did it. Gluttony down. I'm just going to show you a little bit about the scrolls. I did have curses, but that's okay. I was immune to them. So if you see evil banishment, I highly recommend taking it. I took extravagant consumption. Earlier in the game, I also had Devil's Covenant, which gave me a bunch of extra copper. I turned all that extra copper into damage, so extravagant consumption is really good for that. I then paired it with reasonable luck for 80% lucky shot and speedy pursuit, which gives you 50% lucky shot after dashing. So those together, you hit the 150% mark almost, just shy, but close enough. Uh, elite Assassin, extra damage for every elite and boss you've defeated or assisted in defeating. Um, Paranormality, I only took this in the end when I had enough life and shields to actually sustain it. Early on, mm, don't know if I'd take that. But if you compare that with Abnormal Speed, which gives you speed based on your shield, this is um, basically as, as good as Ostrich Rider. So, neat little combo if, if you get those two together. You got Perfect Sixth. If you're doing a, a rainbow like I am with the Spore build, then um, this is going to proc all the time. It's great. You want extra ammo. You want that ammo going to the weapon that you're using. Genesis, so that you're just getting free ammo. You notice there's a theme here. Magazine, Magic Magazine. So the, the more uh, things you can get replenishing your ammo and magically just giving you more is highly recommended. Because I took Paranormality, I also took Bluff. Increased damage dealt if your hit points are full. My hit points were at 1. They're always full. And if they're not, I'm dead. You got Brutal Gloves, increased weapon and skill damage, but mostly weapon damage is what I was going for here. And the last thing that I took, um, which normally I'm not a super fan of, but my buddy who was in the in the match here was doing decay. And so this is 20% movement speed if I hit somebody that's under decay effect. And since he was doing that for me, I took this for the extra movement speed. I also took snow boots, so you're immune to slows. Very important. And one extra legendary that I got lucky on uh, was the gain one stack of phantom skin. Uh, this can save you, so if you see that, pick that up. I will admit, though, it's pretty rare. I've only seen it a few runs. So, And uh, thank you guys for watching.